Hello my dear students, welcome back to Learn Physics. In today's topic, we are going to discuss about AC voltage applied to a inductor. What is an inductor? The inductor is an uh, apparatus which is providing inductance. What is inductance? See, electromagnetic induction, in that chapter we are telling in detail about that induction. See, a current carrying coil is there. Suppose a current carrying coil is there. Okay. If that coil through, current is flowing through this coil. The current carrying coil will be having some magnetic field. Okay. It will be having some magnetic effects. Okay. And I am introducing an iron rod in this. What will happen? Magnetic flux linked with the circuit, that is number of magnetic field lines is getting changed because it was uninterrupted and going like this magnetic field. But I am interrupting with the iron rod. What will happen? Magnetic flux linked with the circuit changes. So what will happen? An EMF is, so magnetic flux linked with the circuit change, magnetic flux changes. If magnetic flux changes, what will happen? An EMF will be induced in the circuit. Okay. This property is called inductance. Okay. So that property, this phenomenon is called as electromagnetic induction. And this property is called as inductance. Okay. So that uh, which is providing this uh, EMF, electromagnetic induction, that is called as inductor an apparatus which is providing this electromagnetic induction okay so flux linked with the circuit changes what will happen and emf is inducing in the circuit clear so emf linked with the circuit is proportional to d phi by dt what is this phi in the case of inductor phi is equal to l into i Okay, so EMF E equals L into DI by DT. This is called a inductor. Inductance. L is called as inductance. Clear? So, magnetic flux linked with the circuit changes and EMF is inducing in the circuit. Okay, this property is called, property is called as inductance. EMF is directly proportional to the rate of change of flux. Flux linked with the circuit phi is equal to L into I. Inductance into current flowing through the circuit. So L we are taking it outside and we are getting it as DI by DT. So this is about, this is a short introduction about this inductor. Okay, if you didn't study about the inductor, this is a small information about the inductor. Now if in, I am introducing an inductor in an AC voltage supply. So this is an AC voltage supply. In that I am giving an inductor. What will happen? Okay. Yesterday we learned about the resistor. Now an inductor L. Which is having an inductance L. Now we know that V is equal to Vm sin omega t. So applying Kirchhoff's rule what we will get? V minus what does E here for the inductor L into di by dt will be equal to 0. So we will get it as V is equal to L into di by dt. Okay, net uh, potential difference is equal to net EMF will be equal to 0. So V minus L into di by dt is equal to 0. Okay, V is equal to L into di by dt. What is V here? Vm sin omega t equals L into di by dt. Now our aim is to find out the i. Right. So here we will get it as di equals Vm by L sin omega t dt. To get the i value what we should do? We should integrate. Integrating Vm by L sin omega t dt. Vm by L is constant and sin integral sin omega t dt. What is integral sin omega t dt? Integral sin omega t dt will be equal to minus cos omega t divided by omega. 
okay so we will be taking the integral and again taking the integral and dividing with that okay so we are getting it as minus cos omega t divided by omega this one while you are learning the integration in your mathematics you will understand this very clearly minus cos omega t divided by omega so here we will get it as i is equal to vm by l minus cos omega t divided by omega plus a constant while why we are applying a constant over there because in the integration we don't have any limiting values upper limit and lower limit are not there so we should apply a con we should substitute a constant here vm by l so while rearranging vm by l omega cos omega t plus constant here what is the importance of a constant here because current is changing continuously from zero to a higher value and then down to this coming to zero and it is time dependent factor none of the terms are independent of current that means also here if we are representing a constant here any importance of constant is uh, present over there no why because a constant means it with respect to time the, that value is not changing but here current is a term which is in an ac circuit current will be continuously and symmetrically changing with respect to time right so no need to introduce a constant over here so we can write it as minus vm by omega l cos omega t okay this cos omega t i am writing minus cos omega t how i can write in terms of sign here sin omega t minus pi by 2 so i am while i am writing i is equal to vm by omega l sin omega t minus pi by 2 what was our vm value v, v value was v equals vm sin omega t so in terms of v i m usually we will write it as v is equal to v m sin omega t and i is equal to i m sin omega t right so in that manner if i am writing this one this will be i equals i m sin omega t minus pi by 2 so what is the i m value v m by omega l is the i m value i m is equal to v m by omega l now we are going to continue with this equation now you understood see here in the in when we applied resistor we got the value of voltage as v equals vm sin omega t and i equals im sin omega t right it was a uh, same kind it was in phase both voltage and current were in phase but when we are doing with an inductor what will happen voltage v equals vm sin omega t but current i equals im sin omega t minus pi by 2 that means current is lagging behind the voltage by a factor pi by 2 omega t minus pi by 2 so it is behind volt the current is behind the voltage clear so now we are going to continue with this equation so in the case of an inductor current is lagging behind the voltage by a factor pi by 2 so what and all were the equations v is equal to vm sin omega t and i equals im sin omega t minus pi by 2 okay and im will be equal to vm divided by omega l first i will consider this equation okay as per in dc source in dc source we know i is equal to v by r so here in the case of resistance at the place of resistance what is coming at the case of inductance in an ac circuit omega l okay so this omega l is represented as xl inductive reactance inductive reactance we will say it as inductive reactance okay so xl will be equal to omega into l l omega this is very important xl value xl value is equal to l omega 
clear so how what is inductive reactance xl is equal to omega l so this is having the same dimension and unit as our resistor okay inductive reactance in an ac circuit if we are using the uh, yeah Our inductor instead of resistance we will be getting inductive reactance which is having the same dimension and unit of resistance okay clear so now we are considering these two voltage and current voltage we got it as vm sin omega t but current we got it as im sin omega t minus pi by 2 so here i told you it is current is lagging behind the voltage by a factor pi by 2 using this if we are drawing the uh, phasor diagram how we will get see this is 0 this is pi by 2 this is 2 pi by 2 this is 3 pi by 2 and this is 4 pi by 2 okay this is how we are representing now here my values are first i'll draw for voltage this is voltage here voltage will come in ha uh, this is the voltage value that is vm sin omega t Here I is lagging behind the voltage by a factor pi by two. So when in uh, in the case of current, when it will be zero, when current will be equal to zero, when the voltage is it is lagging behind pi by two, right? So this value exactly shifting over here. pi by 2 will be shifting so it will be here and at this point it will be coming here and at this point it will be coming here and at this point it will be coming here okay this is what happening okay about the zero and maximum value i am telling now whether the voltage and current are of same way it is changing any difference is happening yes difference is happening im value is see it is decreasing by the factor omega l im is decreasing by a factor omega l than vm vm by omega l so the amplitude of im will be decreasing over there so amplitude also decreasing so now i can consider this as this is the maximum value right so here minimum and here this also it will be going like this and we can continue from here so this is how we will be represent this is i equals i m sin omega m t omega t minus pi by 2 okay clear so i is equal to i m sin omega t minus pi by 2 is over there and i v equals v m sin omega t is over there but in the case of resistance it was both were in phase here it is lagging behind the voltage by a factor pi by 2 and amplitude also decreasing by the factor omega l 1 by omega l vm by omega l clear now we are going to draw the phasor diagram for this so while drawing the phasor diagram see here this is voltage right so voltage will be representing like this and current will be little bit less than the voltage so this much only it is decreasing by the factor pi by 2 okay pi by 2 uh, so this is im this is vm so as it is going by f, uh, to omega t okay this is decreasing in the anti it is changing in the anti clockwise direction so this much will be vm maximum will be vm and this will be im clear so phasor diagram is a vector which is but this vm and im are not vector quantities it's a vector which is used to represent this magnitudes clear so this is about the and uh, ac voltage if it is applying in an inductor what will happen so here you should think only uh, the uh, voltage which we are applying is v is equal to vm sin omega g this is the voltage which we are applying but when we are uh, applying to an inductor what will happen the em of us l into di by dt so from here you can find out i while finding out i you will get it as vm by omega l into sin omega t minus pi by 2 
clear this is the uh, so and inductive reactance also you should uh, by heart clear so i'll read out a light bulb and an open coil inductor are connected to an ac source through a key the switch is closed and after some time an iron rod is inserted into the interior of the inductor the glow of the bulb increases decreases is unchanged as the iron rod is inserted give your answer so in the, in this inductive coil if i am inserting an iron rod what will happen you tell me see this is a current carrying coil so this current also changing is an alternating current so magnetic flux linked with the circuit changing and emf is inducing in the circuit so it is an inductor right so if i am using a dc source what will happen so it, uh, see uh, it will be current will be developed across it and around it magnetic field will be there that much only since it is an ac source what will happen current is changing continuously so magnetic flux linked with the circuit also changes and emf is inducing so it is an inductor now if i am introducing a uh, uh, this iron rod inside this what will happen magnetic flux linked with the circuit again changes changing more that means inductance what will happen to inductance inductance is increasing e this magnetic induction is increasing so that means inductance is increasing what will happen to the reactance then xl is equal to omega into l if l increases xl what will happen xl also will increase if my reactance is increasing inductive reactance is, is equal to the resistance so if resistance increases what will happen to the bulb glow will decrease resistance increases means current through the flow coil yeah, this decreases if it is decreasing inductance the glow will decrease i'll tell you once more if we are inserting an iron rod inside this coil let the my electromagnetic induction will be increasing inductance will be more over there if inductance is more what will happen to the reactance reactance also will be increasing if reactance increases the current flowing through the conductor will be decreasing and the glow will decrease clear so that's all for today and i hope it's clear for you and if you like the channel please don't forget to subscribe like and share thank you for watching bye